Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this out there on the World Wide Web. This is Jeremy Geelan for Syscon TV here at 9th Cloud Expo, Cloud Expo Silicon Valley. I have Lawrence Guillory with me, which must mean we're talking Racimi, I'm thinking. Welcome, sir, CEO himself. I feel I should doff my metaphorical cap. Well, thank you, Jeremy. Uh, it's, been, it's been a great Cloud Expo. This is our fourth. And um, yeah, w once again, more and more customers coming. I, I'm seeing the transition from early adopters to mainstream adopters, and meaning that the profile is uh, people that just have large budgets and, and, and want the technology to do everything for them, versus I think the past several years we had early adopters coming in. It and, takes a while. And, 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 and well, they paved the way, so we, a big thanks to those guys. Uh, but uh, it's nice to see the mix, uh, but the early adopters are here now wanting to do much more complex things. So, uh, uh, and the ecosystem's evolving too. I, um, there's uh, a lot of mature products here and, and, uh, and I, I, I hear good things for next year. Oh, well, let's just then back up because amid all that success, what if somebody didn't understand about the whole role of migrating to the cloud and something that uh, Racimi does better than anyone? Should we back them up and say, so in those four years where you've been ramping up and doing better. What's been going on? What problem is it that you solve? So we solve the, the migration to the cloud, whether you're going from a uh, public cloud uh, or a private cloud. What we do is we're like the moving company uh, for the cloud industry. So once you figured out that you want to move to a cloud, what you want to use is your existing server images. And we capture all of your existing server images and we migrate them into the cloud. Whether you're going physical, virtual, or cloud, we recognize on the fly that you need device driver changes, registry changes, you need a hypervisor conversion, you need cloud tool injections, uh, VLAN settings need to change, storage settings, uh, all of that is changed on the fly. And that's the only thing that we specialize on, the only thing that we focus on, and we do that better than anyone else. Um, I would argue that over 90% of the cloud platforms, private and public, we already support. And, uh, and so if you're trying to move into a public cloud or a private cloud, Racemi is the tool that can capture existing server images and migrate them in there for you. And the benefit of that is uh, what we've seen, and, and as we started to invest in this area, the market only had, and, and, the, main, and, and the early adopters was do it by hand. And, and, and the growth uh, caught all of the, um, the uh, infrastructure service and cloud providers and MSPs off guard. They don't have these skill sets. Uh, and so, um, so professional services uh, is uh, overloaded. We had a, a large cloud provider tell us that to get to their professional services, they've closed a deal, and to get to a customer that says, hey, I've got you know, 50 servers I need to migrate in, or 100, or whatnot, um, it is nine months before services can get to, to to start scoping that project out. That's how big of a pain point it is. And uh, and so with Racemi, the software is a service version of the product. So now you can go to Racemi Cloud Path. And with Cloud Path, it's a SaaS version that anywhere in the world you can capture server images and migrate into the major uh, clouds. So right now we, um, we've we got uh, Amazon, Rackspace, Terramark, GoGrid. You can capture your server images and migrate it into, the, into those clouds. Um, uh, as I understand, uh, just the other day we had IBM Smart Cloud a, 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 a certified uh, in R&D, which means it goes to QA next and then GA, uh, software, uh, op source, and uh, uh, and there's a whole host of other ones. We'll probably, by this time next year, have the 50 global clouds uh, available in CloudPath for migrating in and out of clouds. And, uh, and that includes uh, uh, you know, all international markets that we'll look at. It's um, for us, because we've been focused on this for 10 years, the migration issue, uh, it's just gotten easier and easier for us to add new clouds and new platforms. What was the engine, if you can go back, Lawrence, sort of put on your, your yep. past hat, what was the, the, the engine of opportunity that made you say, this migration thing, it's a, it's a difficult problem set, I think one, we can solve it, and two, if we solve it, the world will beat, its, you know, beat a path to our door. It's because the other engine, uh, you know, the other product that we uh, had was too early to market. So Racimi um, uh, has a heritage uh, of being a pioneer in this provisioning space. Um, what we did was we built um, 
one of the first blade servers. So a blade on a common chassis, shared resources and whatnot. Well, we sold off the hardware patent that became a very uh, uh, high stakes game. And, uh, and we focused on dynamic computing, the dynamic data center. But in, the, in reality, in, in, over the years, while we were figuring that out, physical to physical migrations, we had chargeback systems, SLA, it was really cloud in the box, but that was really in 2007, we had this very mature product and cloud wasn't even born yet. And uh, so by necessity, we had to figure out, well, what is it that we can be best at? And we, we looked at all of the things that we did and provisioning by far, that was the thing that we could go one inch wide, a thousand miles deep and own that space. And then the cloud came about. We were, uh, the, well, before that was the hypervisor wars. We right. predicted that before anybody else. We can take a VMware image, convert it to Zen, convert it to Hyper-V, convert it to KVM, any mix in there. We, we saw that before anyone and built the hypervisor conversion technology. And then cloud came. And, and I talked to Charlie Watt, our CTO and founder, brilliant uh, person on the team, so valuable to have him. And, um, and I, and I said, you know, Charlie, we go from point A to point B and we make all the conversions happen. Uh, and, and we were, you know, this is early cloud and we were trying to study what, what is our space in cloud. And I said, go see if you can move into Amazon. Why can't it be point B? And he used our technology and we migrated. And, uh, he came back six weeks later and said, hey, I just moved an image into Amazon. I said, well, that's great. Let me ask you two quick questions. Did you have to use their you know, technology to force it to happen? No. Nope. Did you have to talk to anyone at Amazon to make it happen? And he said, no. And I said, oh, wow, we've got we something. Go do that to Rackspace. And he did it at Rackspace, and then GoGrid, and then Terramark, and then just, and the, and the list goes on. And then that was the, the spark where we said, wow, we can do it. And uh, we've got some stuff in stealth mode that um, um, it's just a matter of let's develop it and put it out, but it'll, it'll come out next year that uh, when we build it, we'll have the ability to migrate into any cloud, and there's no certification that's necessary. Uh, picking up existing server images, doing all the uh, conversions, doing all the tool injections, and making all that on the fly, but there's no initial step from a QA standpoint that we've got to certify a cloud and add it and whatnot. Um, small step, but we can even remove that step and then the scale is infinite at that point. So you've got quite a vision for 2012, 2013. It's going to go on and on, the success story. Yeah, you know, uh, think of Southwest Airlines or, or Delta. Uh, you know, people want to choose who their service provider is and uh, and and they may want to choose to change that they may have a large corporation and you know they want to uh, you know use nifty in Japan or you know use uh, uh, you know Amazon uh, in, in the UK and use soft layer here you know that's their choice and and so if from you know a standpoint of you want to go from point A to point B, uh, that's your choice. Racemi and, and put in hybrid cloud scenarios, your private clouds yeah. that you may build on VMware, or you may build on Three Terra or Eucalyptus or CloudStack or whatnot, uh, or any of those platforms. Racemi says our objective is like Southwest Airlines. We don't care what city you're visiting or why you need it. They're all unique and have their own value propositions. We want to get you there in a high quality experience and out of there and take you there as much as you want, anywhere in the world to the top clouds, and, uh, and, and that's what we do. And so if you're an MSP or a cloud provider, you know, they don't want to solve how to onboard their customers and, and, and really offboard them in a DR strategy or, or some sort of hybrid strategy. Uh, Racemi can do that for them. And if you're an enterprise, you know, you don't want to rebuild your stuff from scratch. Uh, you want to use your existing server images that are true and that, you know, have everything in there from security and compliance and, uh, and and that's what we focus on is, hey, yeah, use your existing server images. We'll capture them and migrate them in. And, um, and yeah, so I think that's a real big need in the market, and we're happy to provide it. And if you want to follow, and you're going to have to run fast to follow this guy, the speed he moves, want to look at Rossimi.com, obviously. Yep. Go to uh, join forces with the moving, I love that, the moving company for the cloud. That's a, such a simple and strong message. Right. Thanks so much, Lawrence, for joining us here Thanks, in Jeremy. Silicon Valley. I hope you'll see us in New York and we'll see you June uh, 2012. Thank you, sir, and thank you for joining us out there on the World Wide Web.